Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you guys my desk area. We have a bonus room in our house and my husband and I share it. I take up most of the space <laughs> with my craft slash office area. I use this for crafting and bullet journaling and making YouTube videos. And my husband uses his side of the room for his office because he works from home and he also makes music on the side for fun. The side of my desk has a little cubby area. So my husband and I actually built all of this furniture that's in here. And we designed it so that it would have all drawers and then these side pieces here, I would be able to put all of my daughter's markers and pens and pencils and all that kind of stuff. My youngest daughter loves to, well, you guys know, both of my daughters love to create stuff. And this is a lot of her markers and art supplies and stuff. And I used to be her Girl Scout troop leader and and that's why she has a million pairs of scissors. <laughs> So we're just gonna get right into the top drawer. This is my washi tape drawer. This is not everything that I have, but it is the majority of them. And this is the stuff that I use on a regular basis. You guys have seen most of these. This is the new stuff that I got from the washi tape shop. I have all of my Simply Gilded washi tape, which is the stuff that has the bows. And I have all my Archer and Olive. This next drawer may look a little bit chaotic, but actually it's fairly organized. <laughs> this is my scrap paper drawer. This is where I keep most of my scrap paper. On the left hand side, I have like the bullet journal essential papers, like all my craft dot grid paper, any scraps I have from any notebooks and things like that. Anything that any scrap pieces of paper that I've tested out bullet journal stuff on, I actually keep it in there if I don't have it in my sketchbook. On the right hand side, I have any of the patterned papers that I've used previously and I just wanna keep the scraps and maybe reuse them soon. I keep them in there. The two pouches hold all of my scrap sticker paper. The one has craft sticker paper and the other one has vellum and plain white sticker paper. The next drawer here is basically like, I guess you would call it my ephemera drawer. It's where I have all my little bits and bobs that I've gotten from like Studio Calico or Ally Edwards. A lot of these things I've gotten because I have a Studio Calico and Ally Edwards subscription. I get a small little subscription from them every month. So I have a lot of little labels and little heart doodads and things like that. And here I have any chipboard pieces that I've gotten from them. This is where I keep the stickers that I use on a regular basis. I have a whole handful of stickers that I got from Amazon. This is where I have all of my stationary pal stuff that they sent me. And again, just alphabet stickers, things like that. I have those little photo cards from Amazon. So this is where I just kind of dig around and see what I want, might wanna decorate my bullet journal with. I can pull out these little trays and really look and see what's in there. And everything's nice and neat and organized. So what I do when I'm bullet journaling is I actually am sitting in my chair while I'm filming this and th this is how I look at it. That's why it's not facing the other way because I sit and I just turn to the right and fiddle through whatever I wanna look for and there it is. This next drawer is my adhesive drawer. <laughs> I have glue guns, tapes, more Elmer's glue than I know what to do with. <laughs> like I said, I was my daughter's Girl Scout troop leader years ago and I still have a lot of the supplies. So we, we did a lot of crafting, but I have my glue guns, glue sticks, stuff for my daughter to make slime with, which <sighs> I never enjoyed doing. I hate slime. <laughs>
The next drawer here is the middle drawer where I sit at and it's actually kind of hard to access. The front part of the drawer is the stuff that I can access the most, but towards the back is stuff that I don't really get into very often because it's hard for me to scoop back and pull it out all the way. So the stuff that's towards the back is stuff that I don't use on a regular basis. Like obviously this Posca pen here, <laughs> it hasn't even been opened yet. So, um, and those are little fans that you can put into your cell phone. We got those in stockings one year, so I just have them. I don't know why. Got chalk, magnets. We have a chalkboard downstairs, so I have any spare pens, my hole punch and box cutter. These are just random pens that I don't have a whole lot of. Erasers, staplers. This is this is basically the office supply drawer. This little container here is my most used bin. I have nail clippers, nail file, chapstick, that kind of stuff. The batteries are for my label maker. I'm obsessed with that label maker. I love it so much. <laughs> You'll see I actually labeled one of the other drawers. You'll see it in a minute. And this is just extra supplies of pens and erasers and things like that. My blades for my X-Acto knife are in there. And then my plethora of post-its. <laughs> I use a lot of post-its. I didn't used to, but really since bullet journaling, I feel like I use more post-its because you don't have that future reference that you can just jot things down on. So I use sticky notes to write down whatever may need to be written down in the next week or the next month, or and I don't want to forget or something that might need to be moved it's not a permanent thing so that's what I use my sticky notes for that's my trash can <laughs> I just use a grocery bag and this drawer here is probably the most used drawer. This is my marker and pen drawer. This is where I have my most used supplies because it's right there on the left-hand side. When I'm filming or when I'm just drawing and doodling and stuff, I can just open the drawer to the left. I don't have to move my chair. I don't have to do anything. And the cool thing about this is that these containers that they're in are all stackable. And this drawer is fairly deep. Because I have so many art supplies, I stacked some of the supplies that I don't use all the time, but I wanted to keep them handy. I didn't want to put them where I couldn't reach them if I wanted them. So I just stacked them underneath. I have my paper mate flares. I have my permanent markers. I have my colored pencils. Paper mate flares, I used to be obsessed with them, obviously. <laughs> I love paper mate flares. They're so pretty. <laughs> But I have my Tombos and my Favor Castells and my Crayola, the new Crayola Colors of the World markers. I love, they're so beautiful. And as you can see, just so that it's easier for like if my kids go looking for something or if I just forget, I labeled what is on the bottom stack. I've also got my rulers here, my scissors. And this next side here is, like I said, everything that I use the most. All my binder clips, my adhesive, my tiny scissors, my X-Acto knife. This is where I keep my favorite pen and my favorite pencil and my pens and pencils that I use the most. And then underneath each one of those is extras of that specific type of pen or marker. And then in this one, I have my Faber-Castell pens, which I love. And then again, underneath, I have my extras. I have my microns and then my extra microns. I go through microns pretty fast because I'm very heavy handed. So I, I go through those nibs really quickly. I have my white gel pens, which <laughs> I have a lot of because again, I go through those pretty quickly too. I use white gel pens a lot.
And then these are just more random gel pens. I have some from Archer and Olive in there. And then I think some of those may have come from a cloth and paper subscription box. I'm not sure. But that is my first marker drawer. The next drawer is my second marker drawer. <laughs> <laughs> this is where I have all of my Archer and Olive Calliographs, my Acrylographs, my Mild Liners, my new clean color dot markers. I was keeping all of my Acrylographs in their boxes, but I decided to take them out and put them together by color. I felt like it just, I don't know, I felt like I would use them more if they weren't in their box. And I used one of the, I used one of the little boxes that the washi tapes came in from the spring collection. And I put all of the nibs inside there so that I could see them and they were at the ready. This next drawer here is my stamp drawer. I have hole punches in here, but it's mostly stamps and my circle cutters. So there's my heart punch. You guys have seen me use that. If you have followed me for a while, you saw me use that rubber stamp thing and I hate that thing. <laughs> <laughs> I used that in one of my very first videos and it's, oh my gosh, my fingers were killing me after using it. Um, this is where I keep my old X-Acto knife. I, it's in a toothbrush holder, but it, it keeps it safe for little fingers. And these are all of my ink pads. My mom got me all these ink pads for Christmas this past year and I can't wait to start using them. And again, I just use the little stackable bins because this drawer is really deep. So they're just stacked on top of each other. And these are all of my clear stamps. Most of these are from Ellie Edwards and Studio Calico, because like I said, I have a subscription to them that I get those smaller packs from. Um, but some of them are also from Michaels. My favorite alphabet stamps that I use in almost every bullet journal spread. <laughs> Those are from Amazon. And then I have a couple little packs from Hobby Lobby or Joann's or somewhere like that. These little things, my daughter, my youngest daughter makes all kinds of stuff out of these little pony beads. And these are just some of the little small little things that she's made me. And I keep them in this drawer because I open this drawer all the time. And I just like to keep them there to look at them. These are the little stamps that my husband and I made for my reading journal. I use those to stamp out how many stars I give each book. And those are just extra little blocks that we made just in case I want to do something else. That is my tiny attacher from Tim Holtz, the little stapler, and then my corner punch and another X-Acto knife. And then that's my black ink pad. That's the one I use all the time. So that's why it's in a different spot. That little caddy, that's the stuff I use the most. This next drawer is where I keep my most used paper pack. I do have other paper packs that are somewhere else, but these are the ones that I use the most. This is the one that you guys have seen the most, the one that's on the top. I've used that quite a few times. <laughs> I'm surprised there's any paper left. And then the stuff towards the back is Christmas stuff. At Christmas time, I'll pull all this stuff towards the front, but I like to keep all my Christmas stuff separate. And then these are just little cards. They're little three by five cards. They're more for scrapbooking, like Project Life type scrapbooking, where you have the three by five card, or I'm sorry, the three by two cards, sorry. <laughs> 
And then I think the four by six cards, I don't know. But anyways, yeah, that's where I keep all those. And then just some sticker books that I'm not real sure why I still have those in there. They should be in the other drawer. <laughs> and more sticker packs. These are some of the smaller ones. I think this is the one that the butterfly paper was in. Yeah, see there's the butterfly paper. You guys loved that butterfly paper. That's the sticker pack that it came in. And that's it for my desktop area. Now we are moving on to my cabinet space. So this first cabinet is my crayons. <laughs> I've had that crayon box since I was a little girl, probably eight or nine years old, maybe even younger. I don't know, I've, but I've had that crayon box for a long time and those are my crayons. <laughs> These are all of my pencil pouches. And these are some sticker packs from Erin Condren and the Happy Planner. I used to do a lot of like traditional style planning in a regular planner and I still have all the stickers. I love planners so I keep all this stuff because I go back and forth between bullet journaling and regular planners all the time. So I still keep all this stuff. I still use a lot of these stickers sometimes. This cabinet is all of my journals <laughs> and my daughter gave me that. <laughs> we love Schitt's Creek. This is all of my journals. Most of my journals are from Archer and Olive. I do have my old, old bullet journals are dingbats and I do have one notebook therapy notebook that I have not used yet, but I might use it for my next bullet journal. This next cabinet is basically like my tech cabinet. The top one is just old stuff that I just wanna hold on to. And then this bottom cabinet is where I keep my microphone, my camera when I'm not using it, and all of my audio equipment basically. Anything that I need for filming, that's where I keep there. So now we're moving on to the shelves and this is where I just keep some planners that I might be in the middle of using. These here are sticker books that I have some stickers that I made. I started a sticker shop a long, long time ago when I was really into a more traditional planner and those are just the leftovers that I have and those are just stuff that I've created for myself. Basket, I have lotion in. My cute little plant. <laughs> my iPad, my computer, little notes that my kids have left me. I keep those there. And then on the other side of my computer, I have some little clay projects and things like that that my kids have also made for me. This next shelf is where I keep all my, what I would say are my current bullet journals. I have my December bullet journal, which is not current, <laughs> but I keep that there just because I think it's pretty and I like to look back on it. And this here is my, what I would call my sketchbook. This is where I will brainstorm any drawing ideas that I don't do in my actual bullet journal. If I am having a hard time planning something or I just wanna sketch something out, this is where I'll do it. Or if I wanna look at the different colors and don't wanna mess up any pages in my current bullet journal. So my reading journal is here, I have a craft paper journal, I have a blackout journal, I have my wellness journal, all of that stuff is there. And that basket just has receipts in it. 
So in this cabinet here, we created these pull-out drawers that don't have walls. I don't know what you would call them. They're like trays almost. But this is where I keep all of my paper. That's not printer paper, it's cardstock. So I have one for regular cardstock and another for my scrap cardstock. And then that drawer is just files, boring stuff. <laughs> In this drawer here, I have the same problem that I have on the other side, so that's why there's not much in here, but this is where I will keep some of the bills, and I also keep the markers that I'm currently using to fill out my habit tracker. I keep that in that drawer too. This is printer supplies. I have sticker paper, I have vellum, I have photo paper, my craft sticker paper is in there, ink for my printer, and just regular printer paper, and then my printer. I do not recommend this printer. I don't like it. I almost forgot this is the best part of the whole craft room. <laughs> my peanut butter M&Ms. <laughs> That's my little stash. So I thought I'd give you guys a kind of glimpse at what it looks like after I have filmed a video. This is the chaos that I made filming my new bullet journal setup. That is my filming setup that my husband and I created. It attaches my light, my camera attaches to it. This is what it looks like after I film a video. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys are interested in seeing the rest of the room and I can maybe give you guys a tour of that. And that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me and I hope to see you in my next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.